and welcome back to our Polygon tutorial series. In the previous videos, we learned how to connect our MetaMask to the Polygon or Matic blockchain. We came here to app.charged.fi and learned how to switch from Ethereum to Polygon. And now we just need some tokens to mint with. And as I mentioned before, you really don't need much. 50 cents or a dollar will really get you more than a thousand or several thousand transactions. Uh, but perhaps you'd like to move more tokens across to interact with some of the DeFi protocols, or, or perhaps you've made some tokens, uh, you've earned some money on Polygon, and you'd like to bring it back to Ethereum. So today we're looking at bridging. Now there is, of course, the standard Polygon bridge here at wallet.matic.network slash bridge, where you can very simply move from Ethereum to Polygon or vice versa any of the supported tokens. And now I'd love to also draw your attention to a wonderful platform called Zapper at zapper.fi. Now here, this is a really amazing tool. Not only can you bridge tokens either side of the blockchain, but you can exchange them as they're moving across the bridge. So I can say, I wanna go from the Ethereum network to the Polygon network, and I wanna send ETH, but receive Aave or send die and receive Matic. So this is a really powerful tool, save some time and save some transaction fees by exchanging and bridging together. Um, so the only requirement for bridging is that the token is paired across the blockchain, that there's an equivalent token pairing, uh, which you can expect to find for all the major tokens such as Ethereum and DAI and USDC, all of these, but if you want to bridge a token across that you don't see on the official list, it's very easy to request at mapper.matic.today. Here you can see a list of all of the supported tokens that are uh, paired on either side of the ETH and Polygon blockchain. And you can also submit a request, uh, which uh, usually has a quick turnaround, a few days typically. So here we can see, for example, uh, the Ethereum address and the Matic address of a token pair. So you can search here, like uh, for example, is our culture tokens there? Oh yes, we've got we've got a culture token pair here, two of them in fact. Um, so you can find easily whether or not a particular token is supported here. Um, yeah, and that's all the stuff you'll need. You've got your MetaMask, you've got your tokens, and you know how to connect on on charged.fi. Uh, if you have any questions about minting, we have some other tutorials in our 101 series, and the minting process will look exactly the same on both Ethereum and Polygon. So thanks so much for listening and, and joining here, and uh, we'll see you soon in our next series.